Hey buddy, it's John here and we're back here with another tutorial, this time on a save data system and a save and load system. So specifically this was requested to save data locally to a uh, basically a file system so wherever your game is this is going to store it. It's simple, it's basic, it does the job, it also has a save and load system and exit system for your video game. So we're going to go over the icons and items I need then we're going to get straight to the code. Red box is the exit, purple is going to be the load, yellow is going to be the save icon, and then this gold coin is how we get our money, and then this text is basically going to say, okay, every time you click on this, I'm going to show you through a number system how many coins you have. Now, uh, what I used, I just popped up another construct to, to show you guys, now what I used to um, behaviors in this, so we're going to click right, and we're going to insert a new uh, object. I used mouse. I used nw.js. I also used um, browser. And then I used this one called data. Local storage, there we go. I use local storage. This is very important, guys. You're going to need this. This is how it makes everything possible. So it says store data locally on user's device. Okay, so we don't need this anymore. So I'm going to exit off. Don't save. Okay, so we, you know what I have. Now we're going to go to our event system. This is how we do all the coding. This is a global variable. It's basically a pillar. It's going to tell everything hey when you reference me this is the information you need to know so we're going to click right and then on the fourth one down it says add a global variable you're going to click on that you're going to name your uh, global variable so you just name it anything you want if it has an initial value say you had a gun or uh, you know starting amount of money you would say hey he has you know one bullet or he has five thousand dollars okay and then what we're going to do is because remember we wanted the mouse variable on left click of the icon or the uh, coin icon we're going to add one so this is adding a system so basically add action system add to okay it's only going to add to a variable adding one done okay now on text what you're going to do is click on text and you're going to type in set to oops, set text basically um, and then you're going to set it to just delete all that and you're going to type in coin and it's going to pop up a little green a little green earth so it's a drop down with a little green earth saying hey your coin you're going to click on that then you're going to say done that's saying okay we're going to reference everything to the coin um, so we can turn it from clicks to something that you can visually see. Also on click you want to set um, to local data so every time you're cl uh, on clicking on it you're sa uh, it's basically auto saving every time you do that. It's like an auto save feature. Okay so uh, by just doing that we're gonna click to local storage and we're gonna set item uh, store a value in a local in the local storage and trigger on item set when done. Okay, so it's basically setting all of those variables. Now, um, this is how you do it for local storage. Normally, it pretty much loads on web, but you can also use uh, like an array or web storage. And then set text. Yeah, set text to coin. Okay, so on left button click on the yellow, that's to save it, and then on left click, so you're now, okay, you exit out of your game, you want to load it, what we're going to do is we're going to go to local storage, we're going to get the item, and what was the item? The item was called coin, so again, we just type in a couple of letters, and there we go, we got coin. Alright, and then we get there's get coin and then there's load game from slot one this is pretty easy it says go to system we're gonna load and then we're going to there we go load it's gonna say hey where do you wanna what's the name of this load uh, that you 
when I'll pull up. It's called number one. And then on close, it's actually relatively easy. You go to browser, and then you just want to type in close, click, and it's just going to close the browser. All right, so I'm actually going to switch over to the game so we can actually see it. All right, so here's the actual fire file. Now I'm going to click on this new project, and it's going to pull it up. Okay, we're going to click on this coin. We're going to stop at 10. Um, remember, it already auto saves, so that's that it's already saved, but you still have to save the game. Click this red button to exit. We're going to exit. We're going to enter the project again. It's going to say set to zero. Now, you can say when loaded, um, set it to uh, basically, you can't have it to reload all the data. But if you're going to go into a game to where you know where you go through a menu, you have a couple of load sets, and you just don't want to go to the last game, you know, saved or whatever. Say you have multiple save sets. What you can do is by just clicking on load, like I'm about to do, we bring up all the data. So if I click load, boom, we hit 10, and again that's the exit button. So that's how you do this. Now there's a different ways how you can just interpret or move around how you do this but this is basically the coding behind it and whatever you do with the coding you can switch it around change it that's how um that's how basically you just do the co do it for this setup but with this uh coding knowledge you can change it however much you want for your own games hopefully this helped guys remember hit the like uh, subscribe button this will be on the sakara channel and my personal channel and comment down below on specific videos that you would like to see again thanks guys and i'll see you in the next video